Tibaltir slain, whom Romeo's hand did slay. The Romeo that spoke him fair bade him bethink how nice the quarrel was, and urged withal your high displeasure, all this uttered. With gentle breath, calm look, knees humbly bowed, could not take truce with the unruly spleen of Tybalt, deaf to peace. But that he tilts, with piercing steel at bold Marcusio's breast, who all as hot turned deadly point to point. And with a martial scorn, one hand beats cold death aside, and with the other sends it back to Tybalt, whose dexterity retorts it. Romeo, he cries aloud, hold friends, a friend's part. And swifter than his tongue, his agile arm beats down their fatal points. And twixt them rushes underneath whose arm an envious thrust from Tybalt hit the life of stout Marcuccio. And then Tybalt fled. But by and by comes back to Romeo. Who had but newly entertained revenge? And to it they go like lightning, for ere I could draw to part them, was stout Tybalt slain. And as he fell, did Romeo turn and fly? This is the truth, or let Benvolio die.